On this video, we're going to walk through an overview of the Nintex platform. And as we get into the Nintex platform, I want to tell you a little bit about the mission that we have here at Nintex. And I'm going to read just a little bit of this. So Nintex helps companies unlock the power of endless possibilities. And the way that we do this is we really believe that by putting intelligent automation into many hands, organizations really can remove the friction from their work and inspire those teams to build a culture of efficiency and truly accelerates business success. So this efficiency creates momentum. It's going to help propel people. It's going to help propel work and it's going to help propel the business forward. So hopefully over the next 10, 15 minutes, you're going to see some of that as I walk through the entire Nintex platform here. Now, there are a lot of different use cases that you may be thinking about where automation and process improvement and documentation can help your organization. And this is just a really small list of where we see a lot of our customers leveraging all the capabilities that we have at Nintex. So you can think about citizen services that you run into for uh, purchasing requests, permits, licensing, uh, order to cash scenarios where it's a request that comes in, uh, it, generating documents, generating quotes, uh, could be incident management, case management, uh, CRM scenarios where you're going to track orders, get approvals on orders. I mean, it's just an endless amount of potential use cases that you can run into as far as how you can leverage the Nintex platform. So let's jump into the platform and we're going to walk through each of these capabilities in a little bit more in-depth today. So the overall platform that we're looking at, I'm going to work from left to right and talk about each of the capabilities. So we have process identification. We call that process capture now. Uh, process management, which is the documentation of the process. No automation just quite yet, just around the documentation. Uh, process apps, what we call Nintex apps, where you can build pages and you can see what's going on with your individual process and kind of visualize that. Workflow, which is really at the heart of what Nintex has always done for years and years, workflow and forms. Uh, and then if you can't get it done with workflow, we have a robotic process automation capability. A lot of people call this RPA. Along with document automation, you may hear this called document generation, which takes a document like a Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and we can inject information into it and output a, uh, a PDF document or the original as well. And then our e-signature solution as well, where we can take those documents or others and send them out for signature. So this is the whole platform. And when you put this platform together, what it gives you the capability of doing is building an entire solution. And that's why you see this blue bar at the top. It's because when you put all these together, you can start to tackle different challenges or opportunities in the business where you can go and build solutions. Maybe it's case management from the intake, the management of the case, uh, onboarding of employees, all kinds of different ways that you can build solutions around the business. So let's start at the top. I'm going to show you a little bit of a slide on each of these capabilities. Then here in just a minute, we're going to go and see these in action. And I'm going to do a demonstration of each of the capabilities. So process discovery or process capture, as we call it now, is the first one that I wanted to walk through. And you're going to see that here in a few minutes where we can actually run uh, what's called a widget. Uh, you download the widget, then you run the wizard on your machine. And whatever you're doing, it's going to capture that information and it's going to build the map for you automatically. So it's a great way of jump-starting uh, the capturing of your process and the documentation of it, which leads us into process management because what we do at Nintex is we allow you to take processes that you have and you can document them into a process and see a visual map. And what process management is, is a library that contains all of these processes that are out there. And they're super easy to consume these processes. You'll see these little boxes that are on the screen. Uh, makes it very nice and easy to be able to document your processes. Before you can automate anything, you really need to understand what your processes are and have consensus and agreement on that. And that's what we're doing with process management. And then we can move on to automation. Uh, what you see on the screen here is what we call Nintex Automation Cloud. 
And we really have a great capability here of being able to automate processes in a really easy drag and drop method. Actions on the left-hand side of the screen, you drag those onto the canvas, and then this little box shows up on the right-hand side where you can come and configure those actions. So the business analysts, the project manager, those individuals are going to be empowered to come out and build a solution for this. So what you see on the screen is an Intex Automation Cloud. We also have an on-premises version of this that we call uh, K2 that's available and a really fun platform to be able to leverage. Uh, and then we also have what's called process apps. I love process apps because this is gonna allow you to go out and basically build a page and have a radar screen of what's going on with your workflows and build an application, essentially. Now you'll see a form on the page here uh, as an example of being able to capture some data, but the apps allow you to get that information onto the page. Uh, really, really helpful capability. And then Nintex RPA, Robotic Process Automation. And where this really comes into play is scenarios where you can't get it done with workflow. And that's where RPA comes into motion. So we have attended and unattended bots that you have the capability of building. Works really well for scenarios where you're doing repetitive type scenarios. Uh, maybe a situation where a user is actually leveraging the keyboard and the mouse to get something done. Well, you can do that and have the bot handle that for them, especially in a highly repetitive mode. Or even in some capabilities that we see a good bit of now where the bot can assist with training of individuals uh, and assist with how to do some different things uh, with the sensor technology that we have and the kind of bubble technology of being able to have some bubbles pop up on this, the page and guide the user through a particular process. So probably for a later video or later conversation, but a lot of great stuff that we can do with automation or RPA. And then document generation. This comes within Nintex Automation Cloud, at least that's the example that you see here. And document generation allows you to take something like a Word document, and through our tagger, we can place tags of where the data should go within that document. And when document generation runs, it outputs either the original file type or a PDF version of that document. So a wonderful capability at Nintex that we have and it allows you to create quotes, invoices, letters, onboarding paperwork, offboarding paperwork. There's just an endless number of examples of how we can leverage document generation at Nintex. Now, that document generation capability not only is available within Nintex Automation Cloud, our kind of flagship workflow product, you can also use it in the context of Salesforce directly. And that's what you see on the screen here. So that if you're out there in Salesforce, you can go out and click on a button and it will go and generate the document leveraging the data within Salesforce directly. So the user never leaves Salesforce in this example. Uh, right there within the app exchange, it's available. You see down here with this little pop-up, you can go and download it or purchase it and start leveraging this to generate documents within Salesforce. And then the last thing that we'll cover here is our e-signature, or almost last thing, e-signature solution. So if you wanna get a signature on a page, on a document, um, leverage our Nintex e-signature solution. Does a really good job of just kind of basic e-signature functionality, whether you wanna use Nintex just for e-signatures or what I would recommend marrying it up with a workflow or a process within Salesforce with like document generation to output and send those off for signature. So great capability there. And then the last thing we'll walk through is optimizing your processes with Nintex Analytics. And this is just simply a dashboard where you can come and see what's going on within your Nintex environment. How many workflows do you have? How many forms do you have? How often do they run? Just a great capability here to see uh, some of that information. All right, so enough of the PowerPoint presentation. Let's get out of the PowerPoint. What we're going to do is jump into each of these capabilities. Now, normally we would take a lot more time to walk through each of the capabilities, but I want to walk you through just a high-level demonstration of each of these. So what you see on the screen here is what we call process manager. And this is the library, the location for all the processes that you want to document that are out here. And I love this because you'll see that I'm in here as a solutions architect. 
I'm involved in 46 processes. And if my role changes in the organization, we can change uh, the target of those processes. Great search feature, little dashboard here to show you updates on what's going on. But at the end of the day, we're going to allow you to group your processes into whatever logical groupings you would like to have. Could be departmental based like HR, IT, finance, or it could be based on something like how do we develop a new product or a service? And I'm going to click into that and you'll see a grouping of processes. Product manager is going to prepare a business case. Marketing is going to define it. Operations will evaluate it and launch it. These are little sub processes, but it's not an overwhelming map uh, with a lot of information contained in it. It's very easy to consume. And then you can click on an individual process and dive into that process to see what's going on. So we're kind of going from this level one to level two into what I would even call level three now, maybe even four and five here in just a second. So once the map loads, you'll notice that we have these different swim lanes that go from left to right on the page, uh, the project leader, manager, and then the boxes that you see on the page, we call activities. And whenever you click on the activity, you're gonna, then gonna get task level detail for that individual activity that's out there. So in order to prepare, prepare the project plan, we need to do task A and B and C and D. But in addition, we get assets that come along with it, like a Word document, uh, a link to trigger automation, uh, you'll see here we have a video. You can put images up here. So a really, really easy, great way to be able to work with Process Manager to see your processes that are out here. Now, how you create these is super easy. Just click on the Edit button over here on the right-hand side, and you'll see what I call the outline. So each of those boxes are represented by whole numbers. You type in the title. You pick the resource out of the list, which you get to dictate, and then you simply come in and add your tasks, add your notes, your images, your guides, documents, all associated right here. Super easy to use. But the beauty is, is that when you click on the map, it will draw the map for you for the first time or redraw the map for you if needed once you have identified or filled out the outline that's out there. So this is what we call process manager. Love this capability, love the ability to go out there and have it. We also have uh, something called process capture. I won't get into this too much, but you can launch this and it will actually record what you're doing on the screen as long as it's a Windows-based machine. Once it's done recording, you can process it and it builds the map for you automatically. So this is process capture and process manager. Last thing I want to walk through here, or not last thing, but next thing that we'll get into is what we call Nintex Automation Cloud. And this is really what I fell in love with uh, back in 2008 when Nintex came out with their capabilities right around that time frame. Actions are on the left-hand side of the screen. You take an action, you drag it onto the canvas, just like this. You then click on that action and you can configure it on the right-hand side of the screen. So this is where your project managers, your business analysts, your business users, they don't have to be technical folks. They can go out and automate processes. And you tell these actions exactly what you wanna do over here. So if I am gonna send the email, who's gonna get it? What's the subject line? What's the body message? It's all contained inside of here. We also have a great forms capability available to anonymous users and authenticated users. Really easy to be able to click on the form designer and build an online form. Couple ways to do it, whether you wanna build it manually, dragging these individual, we call them controls onto the page is probably uh, the easiest way to go build this. And then you click on that control, and again, you'll have your configuration options over on the right-hand side. Um, a second way to do this is actually building the form off of a PDF. Uh, just click on that, upload your PDF. Even if it's an image, it'll build the form. Or even leverage our AI capabilities. Simply type in some text of what kind of form you want. The more information you give it, the closer you're going to get to an accurate form or what you're shooting for. Uh, a lot of other features that come with it with translations, rules, styling, but at the end of the day, we have a forms capability to be able to build that form. But what's great about this is once you've built the form, then you can interact with other systems of record. And that's what you see over here within the connected library. Different systems of record, we've got over 100 and some out of the box, 
And you simply come and look at these different sections. You'll see a lot of Google stuff with the calendar directory, the Google Drive, mail, sheets. You'll see a lot of Microsoft stuff in here as well with Exchange, Office. All you have to do is open up one of these sections like Microsoft Teams, and then you can see which actions are available. So if we wanted to go and create a team at some point in the workflow, drag it over, click on it, and just tell it what team you want to create. You'll give it a name. You'll choose if it's public, private. There's a, every one of these different actions has a different set of configuration options that come with them. And the beauty of this is that not only do we have out of the box connectors that you see on the left hand side here, if there's a system that you want to connect to and you do not see it in the list, you can create your own private connectors. SAP is a really good example of that because we don't have an out of the box connector just yet, but you'll notice here we've bold in the API or the web services for SAP in this example. And you can now leverage it just like an out of the box connector. So we've defined how we're going to connect to it and then just simply bring the fields uh, or they are over here and then we can map the data over. So in that form that I filled out, I could take the form data that we see here and I could take the company name and put it in here as the customer name and go from there. So that's how we can match up the form data to the data in a system of record and work with it. So this is what we call Nintex Automation Cloud. And there's a lot that comes with this uh, and really kind of a key feature of being able to automate processes that are out there. And then the last thing that I'll walk through is what we call Nintex Analytics, which shows your Nintex experience to you and how you're leveraging it. So we see in here, I've got a total of 204 workflows. Um, 187 are in production. We've got another 17 in development. How many document generations have we run? Just a great way to see how we're leveraging our workflow environment. How many are running, completed, failed, terminated? There are a lot of different views of the data inside of Nintex Analytics. And if you would like, you can actually go and click on the workflows button and see your individual workflows and how they're doing. And if desired, you can leverage the OData connection in here as well to be able to uh, push that data into another reporting engine like a Tableau or a Power BI. And then you can actually create your own custom reports on that data that's out there. But overall, this is a high level view of what the Nintex platform is all about about. So hopefully you got kind of a good tour of what the platform is all about and seeing workflow, forms, document generation, e-signature all in one location. If you have any other questions or you want to dive into the weeds just a little bit more, feel free to reach out to anyone over here at Nintex and we'll get you set up with a more in-depth demonstration of the platform. So thank you so much for listening in on this recording.